Well, the first spot of this video is of course the most iconic place in Paris which is the Père Lachaise and also the most hunted. We really love this place, it's calm and there is a really nice atmosphere. Now we are pretty early morning, I mean it's 10.30 but I think I recommend to you to, to come around this time because the light is still a bit low and I think it's the perfect time to visit this place. You can lose yourself in all those little paths, it's quiet, you can hear the birds which is not often happening in Paris because you are in a loud city. It's free, you can just wander around and it's it's really peaceful. Here in Palaches you can visit a lot of famous people graves. For example, Edith Piaf, Oscar Wilde, Honoré de Balzac and Jim Morrison, which is one of the most visited here in Palaches. So if you are looking for these graves, you could easily just Google the names with the grave. They will give you the exact location in Palaches. Well, the second spot of the day is the famous Crémieux Street. It's located in the District 12 and it's attracting a lot of tourists because of those beautiful, colorful, small houses. It's pretty cute, we have to say, it's pretty cute. That, of course, is free of charge because it's a street to visit in Paris. In the past few years, the people that live in this street have been complaining a lot about, you know, too much tourists coming, taking pictures and videos. So I cannot stop you doing it. I'm actually doing it right now for this video. But try to be as respectful as you can. Don't stay too long, don't scream, be quiet. All right? Third spot of the day. If you want to avoid the crowd of Paris and the noise of the city, uh, you should definitely come here. I think I, we could call this place like one of the last small village of Paris, La Butte au Caille. It's located in the 13th, it's nearby Place d'Italie and it tastes and looks a bit like Montmartre but it's really different and really less crowded. So if you have the time, I highly recommend you to come here. It's full of small little street, street art absolutely everywhere and there is a really good atmosphere in those little Parisian streets. Almost two years ago we did a video about La Butte au Caille and if you didn't see it, go have a look. Uh, we give you a, a better tour of this place and we give you more details and explication. So we just arrived on the first spot of the day in Paris, which is right behind me. It's called the Marché aux Fleurs. It's totally free and it's one of our favorite spots in Paris to visit and shop for the flowers. So if you have some time, you should definitely head here. It's not far from Notre Dame. So this is the fifth spot of the day and we are going on the rooftop of the Galerie Lafayette which uh, is free of course and you will have an amazing view of Paris from there. No need to go on the top of Eiffel Tower or on the top of the Tour Montparnasse. So let us show you. It's super easy, you just have to go inside of the Galerie Lafayette, you take the escalator and you go on the last floor. And there you are, it can be a bit crowded. Well, I'm really not into this kind of crowded, touristy places, but I have to tell that this view is pretty nice. And you can even eat on the restaurant right there. Well, this is the sixth free things to do in Paris. Since 2015, the City Hall of Paris installed this free water fountain kind of everywhere in Paris. But you know what's the best? You have a flat water, here, but you also have sparkling water, which is really something that I don't know if you can find that anywhere else in the world. And the water is super fresh and super good. So if you are thirsty like we are with Christina, you just have to download one app called Chateau La Pompe. You can find it on Android Store or the App Store and it will show you all the water spots around Paris. But of course there is not sparkling water everywhere. You have to be really lucky if you find one. Well, right after you are done visiting the Basilica of the Sacré-Cœur, do a quick stop to the I Love You wall. This won't take too long. It's, it's a wall of I Love You written in 250 languages. You are in Paris after all, so let's make your trip romantic.
And we're gonna end this video with the less funny attraction, but the most instructive. The Memorial de la Shoah. You will learn a lot about the Holocaust and what happened in Paris. And of course, anywhere else in Europe, you will see old documents, videos. We should never forget what happened only 78 years ago.